What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your beaches look artistic. Also, I am aware I have been gone the past few months. Uh, really sorry about that, I've just been busy over the past few months and stuff. But hopefully, I'll be back for a little longer this time. And also, according to my last video, only 18% of you guys are subscribed. So if you like this type of content and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Okay, so basically how I have this set up is every level, uh, I'm going to be adding something else that makes your beaches look a lot more realistic and also i have these set up in kind of like a prop form like these beaches i made myself but they'd also work on a template island beach so first up we got vfx so i think a lot of people kind of forget that these exist in creative but they actually do help a lot in making a beach look more realistic like right here it kind of looks like the water is coming in like a tidal wave and we also have birds up in the sky which just adds a lot more realism. Uh, you can find these particles here in the spooky particle effects gallery. Yeah, you can find them in this gallery right here, the spooky particle gallery. And you can also find the birds in the particles gallery B. Uh, and this step is always kind of like a finishing touch thing because these particles can obviously kind of tank your performance on whatever you're playing on. Just be mindful when you're using these in your map. Okay, so for this next level, we added just a few more pieces of vegetation and rocks and pieces of driftwood. And also we have our particle effects from last time. These rocks right here and these small pieces of vegetation can all be found in the sanctuary, uh, this gallery right here the Sanctuary Nature Gallery. And you can also find these pieces of driftwood in the cube foliage gallery uh, right here. So for level three here, we added a few human elements like this umbrella and some towels and coolers on the floor. This one would also be kind of optional depending on what your beach is. Like if you have, I guess like a more natural one, you wouldn't have like chairs and stuff around like this. For this case, we do have them here. These two canopy pieces came from the sanctuary prop gallery right here. And I also got all of the lawn chairs and coolers and towels from the uh, invasion prop gallery right here. And this gallery is really useful, especially for beach locations because of all of the beach chairs and just um, equipment that you'd find on a beach. And lastly, I got this umbrella from the Lazy Links Clubhouse prefab right here. Uh, you can just open it up and it's right there it looks pretty nice it adds a lot to the beach side here and next up we got level four this would be the last level that i'm showing you here so along with all the man-made and natural stuff i added a few things in the ocean over here like this pier and this boat and just some pieces of coral and rock out there i also added these tiki torches you can find in the sanctuary prop gallery and i also added these small bumps of sand that you can find in the arid cliff gallery the piece that i'm using from the arid cliff gallery is this one right here i just flipped it upside down and it kind of acts like a uh, small bump and the sand goes on the top also which is pretty nice and useful. And that trick I just showed you also works for every other piece in the Arid Cliff Gallery. These pieces of barnacles over here are from the Coral Cove prop gallery right here. And the seaweed I think I got from the Coral Castle. Yeah, Coral Castle prop gallery right there. And this buoy I got in the Fortilla Gallery. Fortilla is also a pretty great uh, place to get um, pieces for a beach side. These small pillars, I used this one right here, the Pirate Cove Gallery. And it's just this piece here, and then I just resized it down to make it look like that one right over there. And you can find this fishing barrel in Craggy Cliffs, and same with this boat. And one more thing I wanted to say is most beaches, sadly, in the world aren't that clean. So some pollution to your beaches might actually even make it more realistic. Uh, kind of like this here. I mean, this isn't an extreme example, but putting some trash in the ocean only in Fortnite. I should probably mention that we only pollute oceans in Fortnite. But yeah, adding some small pieces of trash on your beaches could make it look a lot more interesting. And now that I've shown you some cool ways to use props to improve the look of your beaches, I'm going to show you all of the steps combined into a larger zone like this over here. So over here, I have the pier slash dock that I made over there. 
I added the same bow and the same fishing barrel. I also added some rocks and this bush that you can find in the foliage gallery A, I'm pretty sure. And like I said, same with these trees, I've already told you where they are, so if you forgot, just rewind the video. Uh, added this, I added this small sign from Craggy Cliffs again. And again, all these lawn chairs and just small benches and towels and floaties in the water are all from the invasion prop gallery really great gallery for making beaches and then yeah lazy links uh, umbrellas i added this small hot dog stand which is also from the invasion prop gallery and back here i added just some rocks and trees that can be found in various different galleries you know rock gallery foliage gallery and over here i got a small boat launch type area that i used some bridge pieces and some small railing pieces from the slurp factory gallery or the yeah slurpy swamp gallery and i also added a car here with the same boat mount thing to put the boats in the water and yeah it looks pretty nice this beach with everything just fully connected and together especially with the birds up there and the tide coming in with the effects it looks really nice so yeah guys that's how to improve the look of your beaches in fortnite uh, i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe follow my twitter and instagram in the description below and yeah guys i'll see you in the next video peace